Okay, so since we're going to be disconnecting the the cables for the alternator and uh, removing a bunch of uh, ignition coils and whatnot, we need to disconnect the negative side of the battery and safely tuck it aside. Okay, next we're going to remove this uh, this cover. Just, there we go. Let's remove our uh, old dipstick. Okay, so in order to remove this valve cover we first need to remove this wiring harness that's running from the alternator here up through on, up on top of the valve cover and it's got the all the wires for the ignition coils so we need to remove all this stuff and then grab it and pull it aside also we need to remove these cables for the cruise control and uh, then there's about I think six five or six uh, bolts that hold on the valve cover to the cylinder head but uh, what we're going to do next is actually uh, remove this bracket that's holding in the, these wires for the valve cup for the cruise control. Okay, next we need to remove the wires that are going to our, to our uh, alternator. First we're going to remove that green connector. This is a 10 millimeter nut that was holding this in. Okay, well, this, uh, this plastic uh, piece is actually held in here too, so I'm gonna figure this out, how to get this out of here. There we go. Yeah, just press on that tab, press that down, and then slide it this way. Okay, so in order to get this uh, this, uh, this wire harness through here, we're gonna have to remove this, uh, this bracket that's holding this AC line in, and also there's a little plastic uh, clip here that holds this AC line in, we're gonna disconnect next, and then pull on this, and then get this around get this through and this is also 10 millimeter that. and in order to get this out of this plastic bracket just pull on this just pull out there we go yeah you can play with these a little bit but don't don't force it okay so yeah so we just uh, Get this here, pop this out. Next there is two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one on this side that we need to take out. Also these 10 millimeter uh, nuts that are holding our ignition coils in and we're gonna remove this as one unit. Okay, actually it seems to me we need to unclip this it's at the top here too. Okay, and the way we're gonna disconnect this is we need to get something uh, like this in here. Just press it out and then pull. And as you can see, when you press it out, this clip unlatches from there and then our harness is free. Okay, before we can grab that and pull this aside, we need to disconnect these little two connectors here as well come out without much trouble. There's another one here. It's, you guys. There we go. Easy enough. Okay. Everything should come out as one piece. There we go. Pretty good. I'm just gonna set this aside. Almost there. <laughs> okay, next up, five uh, mouth cover bolts that are also 10 millimeter. Okay, you know what? We actually do have to remove this PCB hose because it's not gonna let us remove our valve cover. Okay, now we get this, now we get to the, this uh, this wiring uh, harness off and now we should be able to remove our valve cover. There we go. Okay, it looks like I forgot to take out some, some stuff. This bracket here, uh, it's held into the valve cover 
We have a 10 millimeter bolt. That's for this AC line and power steering pump needs to come out. So we're just going to take that bolt out and remove this bracket. Also, this one, uh, this little small bracket, well, that was for the wiring harness. That also needs to be taken off. It's also held in by a 10 millimeter. There's this. And there's this guy. It's also held in by uh, some RTV silicone on the corners. So. So once you get your valve cover out and you want to replace your valve cover gasket, I'm not going to be replacing this valve cover gasket on this car because this is just a video outtakes from a timing bolt job I'm doing, but I decided to, you know, make a separate video on just doing the valve cover gasket. Um, you just basically, yeah, you just take off your valve cover gasket and uh, you make sure you clean the groove that the valve cover sits in. You clean that up and you put your valve cover gasket back on. It's, uh, it's going to stay in place. Make sure it's all the way in there. And then uh, you also want to replace these little, uh, I guess, spark, these are little grommets for your spark welds. And the way you remove this is, it's best to use just a pair of these pliers like this. And you grab it by the lip, or the, by the side. Make sure you're just grabbing this, um, this grommet. This, if you grab the, the valve cover itself, you might damage it. So it's very important you grab it like at the lip and you're just pulling on that and then these will pop out. And then when you go to replace to put the new ones in, you just loop around the edges and then press that in by hand. If you can't do it by hand, get a socket that's exactly the circumference of these. That's exactly on the like when you get a socket, make sure it's uh, on the outer lay, outer edges of the this grommet, okay? And you're not pressing on this this inner inner uh, area because that's that's what uh, that's what does the sealing around your uh, spark plug well, okay? And you would just Put this on here and you press it in and that will go in and uh, that's it okay uh, before we put our uh, valve cover back on though we need to clean all the mating surface you want to get some rags and clean all around the circumference I'll actually get some razor get a razor blade and clean these four corners that's got a uh, RTV silicone on there this corner this corner that corner down there and they want to cross and you have to use it after you use your razor blade to clean those corners then you want to get a rag with some brake clean and go around and get all the old um, goo and uh, caked on engine oil all uh, off this mating surface okay you want to make sure none of this old RTV silicone stuff ends up in the engine so grab it with your hand if you have to and just get it out of there okay Okay, next the rag and some brake clean. And we just go ahead and clean this mating surface. Okay, next it's time to apply the RTV silicone to the four corners. Four spots we took that old RTV silicone off, which is basically where this, uh, this uh, camshaft cap or bearing meets top of the cylinder head and you don't need a whole lot you just need to get it in that corner right there you can also you know if you want to really play it safe go get get a really thin layer around here but uh, it's not a big deal I mean, oh and also I'm using a uh, black RTV silicone which is uh, maximum got maximum oil resistance but uh, Whoever did this last, they had gray silicone on here and it wasn't leaking anyway before I started taking things apart. So you can also use ultra gray. Uh, I've had best of luck with ultra black so you can use this too. Okay, next it's time to drop in our valve cover gasket and space is pretty limited here so but you wanna you know try your best to drop this in one sweeping motion <laughs> which is gonna be nearly impossible anyway but uh and you need to tilt this up a little bit I don't know something is catching but there we go we're on now okay 
Now we just need to tighten our uh, valve cover bolts and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, next it's time to torque these down and then you want to torque these down to about uh, 7 or 8 foot pounds. You don't want to go more than that. Getting these really tight is not going to help with uh, stopping any leaks or anything, okay? You just need to get these hand tight or if you're going to torque them down, the torque stick is about uh, 7 foot pounds, okay? And you want to work yours from the center out, so you want to go here, 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 okay? Is that? Is that? That. Okay. Okay, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a reversal of uh, whatever you remo removed. It's just uh, basically you want to get your uh, wiring harness back on here and down there. And uh, don't forget to put this wiring harness back on here. Get your PCV hose on there your oil dipstick and all that good stuff and you should be good to go hopefully you won't have any leaks and uh, yeah so hope uh, this video helps people out there if you have any comments suggestions please leave them below and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time thanks for watching